In this video, we're going to be showing that the absolute value of a product is equal to the product of absolute values. So basically, we want to show that the absolute value of A times B is equal to the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. For any real numbers a and b okay so we basically have four cases right so either a or b can be either positive or negative so if case one is that they're both positive Here I'll just uh, denote positive with a plus sign. So they're both positive. Case two is that A is positive and let's say A equals plus and B is negative. Case 3 is that A is negative and B is positive. And finally, we have case 4 in which they're both negative, both A and B are negative. So we want to show that this statement holds the absolute value of A times B equals the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. We want to show that that statement holds in each of these four cases. So let's, let's look at case one here. So both positive. So if both are positive, looking at the right side, the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. Well, the absolute value of A, if, if A is positive, is just A itself, right? Because the absolute value of a positive number is just that number itself. And the same is the case for B. If B is positive, then the absolute value of B is just B itself. So this is just AB. Now looking at the left hand side, the absolute value of a, b, well, if a and b are positive, their product is positive. And the absolute value of a, absolute value of a positive number is just another positive number, right? So both the left hand and right hand sides are equal when both a and b are positive. So that's case one. I'm going to look at a. A is positive, B is negative. This is case two. So in this case, the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. Uh, I should have. Let me just. Let me do this lower case here so it doesn't confuse you. Okay, so this is lowercase a and this is lowercase b. So the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b, well, if a is positive, the absolute value of a is just a itself, right? Now b is negative. So therefore, the absolute value of b is going to have to be negative b. Because say b were like negative 7, for example, well, the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7 so that would be negative B so a times negative B is just negative a B but now let's look at the absolute value of a times B so we just looked at the absolute value of a times the absolute value of B remember we're trying to prove this statement so we looked at the right hand side we want to look at the left hand side now 
the absolute value of a b well if a is positive b is negative so we have a positive times a negative that's a negative number inside this absolute value the absolute value of a negative number is going to be the additive inverse of that number All right so say, say if a were 5 and b were negative 7 the product would be a negative number negative 35 and the absolute value of negative 35 is positive 35 so that would be negative ab so I'm just put parentheses around it to make it look like the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b so we can see the statement holds when a is positive and b is negative but what about when when a is negative and b is positive so the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b becomes well when a is negative the absolute value of a is equal to negative a right the absolute value of b is just b itself and this is negative a b now the absolute value of a times b well if a is a negative number and b is a positive number you have a negative times a positive that's a negative the absolute value of a negative number is the additive inverse of that number so we have negative a b so the statement holds when a is negative and b is positive our final case is when both a and b are negative so when both a and b are negative the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b well we have the absolute value of a is going to be negative a the absolute value of b is going to be negative b negative a times negative b that's just a b right now the absolute value of a times b well a is negative b is negative a negative times a negative is a positive the absolute value of a positive number is just that number itself so this statement holds when these these two expressions absolute value of a times the absolute value of b and the absolute value of a times b are equivalent when both a and b are negative so we've shown now and for all these four cases a positive both positive both a and b are positive a positive b negative a negative b positive and both a b negative we've shown that this statement the absolute value of a times b is equivalent to the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b in the next video we're going to show that this also this statement an analogous statement holds for quotients so we're going to be showing that the absolute value of a the absolute value of a over b is equivalent to the absolute value of a over the absolute value of b and this is provided b is not equal to zero of course but that's that's the topic for the next video so i'm just going to exit out